Hello, hello, happy day. We are going to meditate today. We are going to take time for self. And breathe. <sighs> that was very hot. <laughs> mm. How is everyone feeling today in this energy? <sighs> Invite some deep breaths into your body into your vessel let your body know you love it deepest breath you've taken all day release the stagnant energy Definitely commend yourself today for taking a moment. Stop and breathe. I usually talk for a second, but I really want to just jump right into the meditation. I am calling for it. My lineage is calling for it. My ancestors are calling for it. Try to breathe love into different areas of your body. So we sit here mindfully. Every breath goes to a new place. Gratitude within your vessel. with me here right now. Try not to control your thoughts, just allow them to come and go.
That was a call to come back. <laughs> mm. There's a message collective message that I'm being called to put forth and so if you are listening and it resonates you are meant to be here even in the afterplay so there's this feeling of of not belonging this collective sense of what am I doing here and what is the point I was having this conversation with my little brother earlier send love to him he is not feeling home right now in his body And so there's the vibrational frequency of the collective. We all are energy. We all are here on this journey together. And you might find that when you come into contact with others, that they have been going through the same thing you have been. Not the exact same. We don't all need to be just so special and different from everyone. We literally are part of the same pulse, the same frequency, the same collective. And as someone who senses energies, feels energies, there's this message and this frequency going around of what is the point here? Why be here? What is the point? Who am I? The vibrational lack of self-love. The collective disownment of self. Is the pain that resonates collectively right now. It's just this very existence that is the medicine for it all. The appreciation of being in this existence that is the medicine of it all. The blatant acceptance of just being alive at all is the medicine. And for some humans, it just sounds too simple. For some humans, it just sounds just, well, I don't want to think that right now. I want to stay in my negative thoughts. This is how I feel and this is where it is right now. I don't want to be here. <clears throat> and that's why I just ask the question of, Where do you want to be? What is the latter?
The step is the surrender. We are here to surrender. Surrender what you thought life would be. Surrender what you thought life would turn out to be because it's not for you to know everything. Detach yourself from the idea that you need to have a little package in your hand with the list of all the stuff that you're about to do in life. Let it go. You are allowing this notion to hold you back from your next step. Put that box down. Put it down. Find a blessing every single day, something to be grateful for every single day. And it could be just as simple as breathing, as existing, as seeing a hummingbird fly in front of your window, as seeing a new leaf sprout on your tree that you bought two years ago, of having freezing cold water that you have access to pretty easily of having food at all, of having a home at all, of having a car, of having alternatives to the things that you do not possess, of smiling at somebody in the grocery store because you got to see them that day. If you stayed inside, you never would have met eyes with that beautiful soul. Just so many little things. Somebody took the time to like your photo or comment that they liked your your hair or something. Someone thought of you in that moment. Just every single thing in this life has something to be grateful for. And you sitting with your hands crossed like this, mad that the world didn't give you more, mad that the world didn't send you even more and more, is unacceptable, human. That is unacceptable. There's so much more beyond what you can even think of in this world. So just uh, free your hands, free your arms, put down everything you think you are supposed to have and flee. Step outside, connect with the souls, connect with nature, see what you can see, the spiders, the mice, you might see a mouse. I would love to see a mouse. <laughs> you might see a raccoon. You might see a line of ants bringing food back to their colony, working their asses off. <laughs> you might see another person out on their walk trying to calm their mind so that they can have a better day. And now you're both in each other's energies. Are you gonna talk? Are you gonna interact or are you both gonna go back home to your, to your dome of where you think you're in control? So yeah, you may not see a life. You may not see something better than what you have today. But just know that it's not for you to see right now. You don't get to see it right now. Just enjoy the journey. Enjoy where you are in this moment, what you can control in this very moment, and just flee. Literally ask yourself when you're in a moment, are my hands full? Are my hands full energetically? What am I holding on to? Drop it, get rid of it, let it go, and just step into that day. Step into the light. Mm. Because I promise you, those circulating thoughts that just keep happening, you're not enough, you don't do that, oh, this is stupid, I don't like this, blah, blah, blah. You're immune to that. You say, no, I'm thinking this way today. I'm going this way today. I'm doing the walk today. I am journaling today. I am gonna text or call a friend and let them know how I feel today. I am gonna take my take my socks and shoes off and put my feet into the grass. Yeah, I know I look silly, leave me alone. You will combat those thoughts in your mind because you know them now and you are better than them. 
those who tell you you don't belong here, that it's boring here being a human. Yeah, it's boring sometimes, but we get to be human. We get free will, we get to choose what we want. We get to have a thought and then be able to be in it in the next moment. Look at that, that freedom, you're free. You are literally free every day, yet you choose the habits that put you in the same exact mindset that keep putting you where you are. But you stand up to those today. You say, mm, nope, we're choosing a different route. Thank you, thoughts. Thank you for reminding me, bringing that up to me. But I'm done. I am done. And from there, you're free. You're going to be frolicking, doing cartwheels in the grass, and then that mindset's going to come up again. This is so stupid. What are we doing? I'm cartwheeling, okay? And I'm not judging myself. <laughs> That's getting to know yourself. And so we bring it back to the self-love. Knowing yourself enough, loving yourself enough to take a moment to breathe, take a moment to get to know who you are. That way when those thoughts do come up, you tell them, you tell them who you are. I'm this, you're operating on a different timeline and I have changed, I have moved on. I'm grateful for you. I am moved on and you, you're, you train your mind for a while to think in this new way to think in this new vibration in this new frequency and then guess what you level up you get to be that now you step out into the world with that energy of I I carry myself this way because I care about myself this way I don't settle for things that are beneath me including the thoughts that come to me and tell me I'm less than me because I know that I'm not. I know that I'm everything. This is my life and I get to have this and I will not allow my thoughts to be the reason that I don't get it. <sighs> Just pause. So you can take this moment every day to just breathe. <sighs> breathe, inhale gratitude into your vessel every day. We get to do this. We get to be this, guys. And when you're, when you're in this just childlike energy, curious about life just bouncing from one thing to another because you're free and you get to do all this you pass it along to the next soul you pass it along to everyone that you meet and it's just the most beautiful thing because now you're all just laughing together being all silly you don't even know each other you don't even have to exchange words it's just that that childlike energy of when you meet someone and they're on the same energy and you're just like chuckling together it's so fun i love i love that <laughs> But you can feel that. You get to have that in life. And all it takes is for you to just stop everything and breathe. Get to know you. Don't be afraid of your thoughts. Just see your thoughts as this wonderful, you know, you pat them on the head. Thanks, thoughts. <laughs> Thank you for being here. And as you meditate, you just watch them come and go. You don't answer to them, you just watch them. Interesting. Just watch. Reminding yourself of the breath. <sighs> 